Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at another fun mod, and a mod, which I might add, is actually the reason why we now also do a mod spotlight video for Kerbal Space Program on Tuesday, because earlier in the month I saw this achievements mod and was really interested in it, but because I only did one mod video a week for KSP, I, ha I always had to pick and choose which mod to do, and uh, yeah, this was the one that finally sort of pushed me into doing two of these a week, because um, there's so many great mods that I, I, I'm just kind of getting a bit sick of having to always pick which ones to actually cover. So yes, we're going to jump into the achievements mod here, which uh, to do so, we have gone into a career save, because well, that's where you want to be doing achievements, and that's of course where some of the new achievements for this mod are uh, in. So, yeah, it's it's a fun little mod. It adds in total 145 achievements into the game. And originally, it was a uh, separate mod made by Blizzy, and it was Blizzy's achievement mod. And, uh, well, that one eventually kind of got discontinued, and Malkuth, who is the current keeper of achievements, uh, revitalize the mod, adding in more things, updating it for the recent point nine update, and uh, has some interesting plans on how to carry forward with the achievements mod in the future that I am I am quite looking forward to. Uh, but so yes, it adds in to the game achievements, and uh, for right now it uses uh, the Blizzy's toolbar, uh, but eventually, Malkuth wants to make it compatible with the KSP toolbar system, so we'll uh, hopefully eventually see an achievements button up here. But for now, we have to go into one of the buildings so that we can get the toolbar activated, because that's one of the drawbacks of Blizzy's toolbar right now. When you're looking at the Space Center, you can't actually access it. So now that we are in... Uh, the vehicle assembly building here. We can take a look at this lovely new button on the toolbar, which if I unlock that position, move it in a bit more visible of a space. There we go. We have this lovely little trophy button. Click that, and here we are. We have the achievements interface for the mod. And the achievements are split into multiple categories, the first of which being contracts, then crew operations, funds, general flight, ground operations, landing, reputation, research and development, and space flight. And in total, as I said before, and as you can see here, there are 145 achievements. Now, we, uh, we kind of cheaply got this going places achievement, because since uh, I, I started the career save and tweaked the starting cash to have like a half a million funds. So we we got that one instantly upon starting up the career game. Uh, but yes, we're uh, it's we're going to go through some of these mods here and are not mods but achievements. We're not going to look through all of them, but just to get an idea. So in contracts, well, we've only got 3 here for the time being, but of course, complete your first contract, complete 20 and then complete 100. Uh, so that's uh, fairly straightforward, and anyone in career mode should easily get all three of these in time. For crew operations, oh, we've got a painful one there. Kill a crew member. Kill ten crew members in a single incident. Oh my, that's... That's horrifying. Uh, just kill 10 crew members total, and also, finally, death trap. Kill 100 crew. Oh, that'd be very bad for your career save, because I, 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 correct me if I'm wrong here, but don't you, like, lose reputation if you kill Kerbals? I might be entirely wrong. It's been ages since I've played career. Uh, but then moving into funds again, you know, we have the 100,000, then 1 million, then 10 million funds. General flight is when we start getting into a large list of achievements, of course. I mean, it is KSP. You're wanting to go out there, fly, go into space, etc. So the first one we have here, fly up to an altitude of 10,000 meters above the surface of Kerbin. Sunburn, get within a distance of 1,000 kilometers of the sun. Oh, that's an impressive one. I actually... I really like that one. We got fly above the atmosphere of Eve. The air is getting thin up here. Fly above the atmosphere of Kerbin. Uh, another air is getting thin up here. Duna. That seems to be a common theme for all of these ones where you go into the atmosphere of another planet. It's all the air is getting thin up here. Perhaps, Malkuth, um, think of some more interesting names. 
Or maybe have the community think of fun ones for you. Always an option. Uh, but yeah, and moving all the way. Ooh, what was that one over here? Beam me up, Scotty. Get into a stable orbit without launching. Uh, say what now? How would you? Huh. How would you even do that? I'm not entirely sure. I'll, uh, I might have to try that one out one day. Uh, but there we go. We've got uh, launch vessel up, up, and away. Ten launches. Launch ten. 100 launches, 1,000 launches, etc. Ground operations, another short list. Not not as big as flight operations, or general flight, rather. But uh, we've got a base builder one. Perform a docking maneuver on the surface of another planet or moon. I claim this world in the name of... And then plant a flag on another planet. Always good. All your base are belong to us. Wonderful old school reference there. Plant a flag on every planet and moon. Wow. I'll never get that achievement. I don't think I've ever been to all of them. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, another another. all your base are belong to us for... Oh, Centaur. Isn't that a Planet Factory thing? I remember that being a part of Planet Factory. So that's intriguing. You may need Planet Factory mod to uh, complete some of these. Intriguing. That's an interesting one. And then last one we have got on here, Space Dunk. Jump 240 meters high above the surface of a celestial body without using the jetpack. Interesting. Interesting. Landing. Oh my, we've got a big, long list for landing. This appears to be where most of the achievements are for this mod. Starting off with buzzing the tower, crash into a building at the Kerbal Space Center. I don't think that's buzzing. That's, um, hitting. But, okay. Uh, it's one small step. Land on the surface of a celestial body. Let's see some more down here. Who needs arrow breaking? Land on the surface of Tylo. Very good. Kraken Hunter. Land on the surface of Bop. Very nice. I like the reference. Uh, one small step. Aaron. And we've just got a whole list of uh, one small steps here for landing on a variety of uh, different celestial bodies. Some of these I don't recognize the name of. Are those more of those ones for, like, the Centaur? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Planet Factory, unless I missed a big part of the update. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. Uh, chopper license. Land a at, on the Kerbal Space Center helicopter pad from an altitude of at least 10,000 meters. That's interesting. Pilot license. Land on the Kerbal Space Center runway from an altitude of 10,000 meters. Nice, I like it. I see a theme with the 10,000 meters, though, so we've got another one here for not as bad as it looks, land on the island runway. Oh, I never have good luck landing that. And I finally, I see what you did there, land near the equator on inaccessible. Wait, what? The hell's inaccessible? I, I don't know. All right, moving on to reputation. Fame and glory achieve 400 points in reputation. God Among Kerbals, 800 reputation. And the Devil Wears Prada, very nice. Negative 400 in reputation. I have a feeling you might get that for killing 100 Kerbals. But okay, moving on to R&D. Looks like we've got another long list of achievements here. That is a good portion. But yeah, so far it seems like most of them are, hmm. Yeah, it looks like most of them are in landing, which I find intriguing. R&D's got quite a few, too. Yep, looks like dirt, and that seems to be the general consensus for all the planets. Looks like dirt on Eve, looks like dirt on Kerbin, etc. Going down the list. Oh, boy, we keep going. Uh, more, yep, looks like dirt. Intriguing. Oh, there's a new one. Pile of dirt takes surface sample on, a, on all planets and moons. All right, another pile of dirt takes surface samples on all planets and moons and the centaur and Sirius systems. This intrigues me. I need to, I, yeah, I need to figure out if that is indeed Planet Factory. Uh, but found some space dirt. Wow, a lot of dirt on this. I, I this R and D seems very dirt heavy. <laughs> That's the last one here. Apes can't do that. Unlock all nodes on the tech tree. Finally, something that's not dirt. Okay, so and lastly, space flight, which I'm intrigued. Is that? It is slightly less achievements than landing. You can see the little bump in the. Uh, and our bar over here. Landing seems to have slightly more achievements, uh, but still quite a long list in spaceflight as well. Very nice. 
We're meant to be together. Perform a docking maneuver. Very good. Rock collector. Grab an asteroid. Hmm, intriguing. I've never actually tried that well, successfully. Uh, going around and around a lot of different planets. That seems to be a common theme in a lot of these achievements. But I guess it makes sense. You, you know, you want your uh, people to go to all the planets, so might as well. Wow, we just keep going around and around. Uh, it's round two, get into stable orbit around another planet. Little round rock, get into a stable orbit around the moon. Nice. There we got here. One-way trip, get into an escape trajectory out of the sun's sphere of influence. I've done that several times on accident. Okay, is it a plane? Is it a bird? Prevent an asteroid impact, cool. Once in a new moon, move an asteroid into a stable orbit around a celestial body. I like it. So a good list of contracts here, or uh, achievements rather. I looked at the contract button as I said that. But yeah, a good list of uh, 145 achievements. As I said, uh, they are hoping to plan or hoping to add more in the future, as well as a KSP toolbar option. And also, hopefully, an option to turn on and off the sound later on, because... Well, the sound's a little annoying, I have to admit. But, hey, what, you know what? At least there is a sound at so many things that uh, our mods don't add unique sounds. So at least I'm giving them points for the sound. But hopefully we can adjust that in the future. And, of course, we're adding additional achievements to the game. But let's actually take a look at what happens when we earn an achievement. So we'll just build a quick little crappy rocket here. As so that is... All we need to complete a contract here, which completing a contract, launching a ship, and I believe something else all should earn us achievements. So we should at least earn two, potentially more. So let's launch and see what all gets added. Uh, the toolbar lost the achievement button over here. We'll have to add that in. Let's see, configure visible buttons, achievements. There we go. Jebediah, my friend, good luck. You are representing us and hope hopefully making us many glorious, glorious achievements. So, we will take off in 3, 2, 1, and... Achievements! Well, for some reason, we aren't taking off from the launch pad, but we got the starting achievement. And as you heard that sound, well, uh, you may not find it annoying. I kind of do a bit. Up, up, and away. Launch a vessel. Intriguing. It's about to explode. Boom. Oh, that's why. I'm stupid. <laughs> I thought it was a fuel tank, but I grabbed an SRB. So uh, our Kerbal is going to die. Well, that'll earn us a third achievement, I believe. So into the drink we go. But yeah, yeah, I thought I grabbed a fuel tank. Not noticing that it was an SRB that I grabbed instead. Hmm. Nice. Nice. And... Splash! Ouch! Kill a crew member. There we go. We got three achievements in total. And when you open up the bar, or the uh, achievements panel here, it'll show you which ones you got. With the... Uh, <laughs> oh, that's nice. I didn't notice that before. It adds in the craft and the date. So, we do have an untitled spacecraft on 12-19-2014. Uh, we got starting your adventure, completed our first contract. It's not letting me do that on the other two. The, oh, that's because we're on the contract one. So then crew operations. Ouch. Got us. Untitled spacecraft. 1219. Lovely. And what was the last one? General flight? No. Ground operations? No. Land. Oh, definitely not landing. That didn't happen. Huh. What was the last one? We got to launch a craft. Was it General Flight and I'm just missing it? Yes, it is. Up, up, and away. Launch vessel, vessel. Untitled spacecraft with the date. I like that it includes the ship and the date of your achievement. That's very cool. And, uh, of course, I just love this achievements mod overall. I mean, who doesn't love achievements in-game? And I've always thought it was a little weird that Kerbal Space Program didn't have any. But now, with, uh... The help of Malkuth re resurrecting the Blizzy's achievement mod, we now have 145 new ones and hopefully many more fun achievements to come in the future. So if you would like to check this out for yourself, you can always follow the link in the description. 
and I hope you do. It's it's very fun. It adds a nice little extra layer to your career mode. You know the you know you're you're not just shooting for more money and reputation and science, but also to get them achievements. And uh, yeah, that's a good thing. So, I hope you have enjoyed this episode today, and of course, that you come back for the next when we will be checking out another fun mod. But until that time, thank you for watching, my friends, and as always, have a good one.